Our next story is from Kabul. It has received a letter from Islamabad. A letter seeking the arrest of Maulana Masood Azhar, the chief of Jaish e Mohammed, the most wanted man in India, and a UN designated terrorist. 23 years back, he was released from prison by the Indian government in exchange for hostages from an Indian Airlines flight. Since then, Masood Azhar has been a free man. He has appeared at several rallies in Karachi and orchestrated multiple terror attacks on Indian soil. Like the 2001 attack on the Jammu and Kashmir Assembly, the 2001 attack on the Indian Parliament, the 2016 Pathan Court attack, the 2016 Nagrota attack, the 2016 Uri attack, and the 2019 Pulwama bombings. All of them were masterminded by Azhar. With blessings from the Pakistan Army and the ISI. But the same Army and ISI are now acting blissfully ignorant. They say they have no idea about Masood Azhar's whereabouts. But they do believe that he could be in Afghanistan. Pakistan's foreign office is adding wings to their claims. They've written a letter to the Taliban seeking Masood Azhar's arrest. The letter is not the first of its kind. In January this year, Pakistan had written a similar letter to the Taliban, requesting them to send Masood Azhar back to Pakistan. Where exactly do they believe he's hiding? Somewhere in the jungles of Nangahar or the lush valleys of Kunar? These are two border provinces in Afghanistan. Pakistan says Masood Azhar is taking shelter in either of them. Is there any basis to this claim? Not really. For all you know, this could just be another hogwash, one that could help Pakistan exit the FATF grey list. You see, next month, the FATF is holding its plenary session. It will sit down to review Pakistan's performance, the steps it has taken to combat terror funding, the strides it has made in reigning in terrorism. This session will, in essence, seal Pakistan's fate. It will decide whether the nation should remain on the FATF list or be removed. The decision will be taken based on a 34-point task list. One of the tasks happens to be Masood Azhar's arrest. Clearly, this task has not been fulfilled. The terrorist remains at large. So what does Pakistan do? It feigns ignorance and plays dumb, pretends to not know where Masood Azhar is. And this is a classic escape technique, one that Pakistan has used several times. We've seen this before. Only that this time, no one's buying it. India, for one, is calling it a repeat of the Sajid Mir drama. For the unversed, Sajid Mir is another Pakistani terrorist who was behind the 2611 Mumbai attacks. Until last year, Pakistan had declared him dead. But in April this year, right before an FATF session, this man was suddenly found alive, arrested by Pakistani authorities, and convicted on terror charges. So what we're seeing right now could be a replay of the same script, but with a new character. My point is quite simple. Pakistan is finger-pointing at Afghanistan to wash its own hands of all responsibility. It is accusing Afghanistan of sheltering Masood Azhar so that nobody blames its own rogue agency. Who knows if he's really hiding in Afghanistan or is at an ISI safe house in Rawalpindi instead. The Taliban itself has denied Pakistan's claims. It says that not only is Masood Azhar not hiding on its soil, but if Pakistan continues to make such unwarranted allegations, it will adversely affect the bilateral relations between the two. Let me now quote from the Taliban's warning. We reiterate that the IEA does not allow any armed oppositions in its territory to operate against any other country. We also call on all parties to refrain from such allegations, lacking any proof and documentation. Such media allegations can adversely affect bilateral relations. Pakistan would do well to remember this warning. It should also think twice before blaming Afghanistan because the country is not ruled by any ordinary regime. It is ruled by the Taliban. They may or may not be sheltering Masood Azhar, but they certainly don't like being questioned. If Islamabad nudges them any further, there's no guarantee if they'll keep quiet. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.